the uh, the final event of the 2020 European Tour at the weekend in Risa, second European Tour title for Joe Cullen. Is this now the time for him to finally kick on and reach that first TV final and ultimately win his first TV title in the PDC? Well, he is, you know, now as a result of winning this, the number one seed in the European Championship. And OK, it's a very abbreviated season, less than a third as long as we've gotten used to the last few years, so up to 13 European Tour events normally this year just four but still should not take away from the fact that those four he did the most he won the most money and therefore he's the top seed and i said what was it now just a couple weeks ago that if you've earned that top seed you deserve to be considered one of the leading contenders for the event i said that for glenn durant in the premier league and he went on and won it Granted, he did not bring his best starts over those couple of days, but that didn't, or those couple of days, those couple of matches, I should say, or a couple of hours, but that didn't matter. He got it done when he needed to. And Joe Cullen this past weekend, I can't say he played his best starts in Risa. There were flashes, there were moments, and when he got the lead over Van Gerwen, and he bullied him, and that's why he came home on top and lifted the title. But he did enough over the course of the year to be the number one seed, and therefore, he has to be talked as one of the favorites going into this tournament. And maybe this is just that time. He's come close a few times. He had match starts to beat Gary Anderson in the match play a couple years ago before Anderson went on and lifted the title in the best final of all time. That's how close he was possibly to having that big TV breakthrough. He hasn't kicked on since then. He's dropped out until this past week out of the top 16, but he's he's been there or thereabouts still. This, I think, is now that opportunity because he's going to be going in with confidence. It's a field that, no disrespect to the players who qualified, it is not as strong as it would have been top to bottom if we had a full season because, in the end, you only had to do enough over four events, and that could be just one big run. So you see more of the big names missing out. You see a lot of players with less experience getting in. This is Joe Cullen's opportunity for at least his next great opportunity. He'll have more. He's still a young player. But yeah, I think it's I think this is the chance. Yeah, you mentioned at the top of the show you weren't here to talk about his first European tour title win back in September of last year. He beat Michael Van Gogh in, in the final of that event as well. And myself and our guest co host that week, Hannah, talked about it and said is that gonna be his time? And after that, it's fair to say he, he didn't quite kick on. We didn't see him go on these big runs in the T V events, went out early doors in, in a lot of them. More recent times, well, you only got to go back five weeks ago, we were seeing him lose 6-0 on TV with a 83 average. And at that point, you're thinking, has the moment for him gone? But still very young. For Dart's 31. He's uh, He's got a lot more years ahead of him. And the last few weeks, we've seen some signs that maybe he's coming into some form. The Autumn Series, he had some big averages there. He had a final and a, and a semi-final. The World Grand Prix, one of the last big events that we've had on the calendar, got to the quarterfinals and some big moments for him in, in those games. Went to a deciding leg against, I think it was Ian White and Johnny Clayton, and he came through both of those. 2 new up against Dave Chisholm in the quarterfinals and lost out 3-2. But there, there have been signs that he is coming back into some form. And uh, you can look at the weekend as well. On that final day, I think he was around about 50% on the doubles, 96-plus average for the tournament, 14 180 So he said himself he, he didn't feel like he played that well and maybe it's a sign as well that okay he's won these European tour titles now he wants to kick on he wants to get to that next step and that is to, to go deep in these big events again it was what 2017-18 time that he was going on some some deep runs the, the match play you mentioned what about the European Championship two years ago now that he got to the semi-finals he was 6-1 down against Rob Cross came back and won 10-8 the semi-final I think he had a double nine if memory serves me right to, to win that game against Simon Whitlock, lost out in a deciding leg. So he's, he's been close before. We, we've said it time and time again that is this is time to get it. And yeah, he goes in as the top seed this week for the European Championship. Only Bill Taylor and Michael Van Gogh have done that in the past for this tournament. So confidence-wise, I don't think it's going to be any higher than it is right now. And yeah, you look at the field of players, you look at how the draws panned out. I think he will fancy his chances of, of going on a decent run this week. 